My student Pedro made $7,000 in one day in his credit repair business, and we're going to talk about how he did it. So you see 199, 4,000, 625, 1,000, 1,000, and 199. So comes out to $7,000 payout, $7,000 day. Let's talk about it. When you got the right systems and everything, you're going to be good. So how Pedro made $7,000 in a day with this credit repair business, and this did not include funding. So he hasn't fully utilized everything in our mentorship program. So I just need y'all to realize that. Like the untapped potential he's about to do is crazy, right? Where he he's one of my one-on-one -on -one students actually, and we're actually working on um, getting him to the 100K a month mark. So pay attention to the whole video. If you make anywhere from five to 20K or less, you need to watch this video and it's gonna help you. <laughs> All right. So there's level one credit repair business owners and that may be you watching this right now. So level one are people that are, Basically, people that don't invest in themselves, right? Credit repair business owner that doesn't invest in themselves. They're trying to do it on their own. Maybe you're just starting and you haven't experienced the problems that you're going to experience. Or maybe you've been doing it for a while and you have just fell into the old style of things, thinking that you know what you're doing. But winners that are constantly winning and probably make more money than you, what you're making in your credit repair business. So you got to understand it gets to a point if you've been doing something for so long, but you're doing it the wrong way, you're just wasting time, you're wasting energy, you're wasting money. So keep that in mind. Level one just relies on free YouTube information. You may be new to my channel. You may have been watching like all of my videos and still haven't taken action, right? So keep that in mind. This is a level one person. Level one person lacks systems, right? So, and typically they stay stuck anywhere at five to 10K a month. So that's a level one person. Level two person is a credit repair business owner that decides to invest in themselves. So they understand the importance of time, right? My uh, students paid in full uh, for the program. Basically, he came on a call and told me that, you know, he's he works in tech. He's a techie guy. His thing is he wants to save his time, right? He's never done this. He's never done the consumer laws and all of that. He just paid to get the answers to the test. He understands the concept of saving time. He's just starting, but he's going to be more successful than a lot of y'all that have been doing it by yourself forever, like for a long time, but you haven't made an investment run it correctly. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all that don't invest in yourself, by definition, you're poor, right? When we talk about passing over opportunities repeatedly, and that's fine. We just got to call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're poor right now, but when you stop passing over that opportunity, that's when you get to the next level and you, and you release that for mentality. You know what I'm saying? So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, so level two people are credit repair business owners that invest in themselves. Um, they also invest to be in a community of like-minded individuals that are winning and succeeding. So you see, when we go back to the wins channel, you see Pedro had his uh, 7,000. Um, I think I think Ali made 20,000 today. Yeah, so you see a uh, 9,600, almost $10,000, right? So just keep in mind, like, we literally have some people that came into my mentorship program just to be around like-minded individuals. Sometimes you don't need more information. You just need to change your proximity. And if you go to our client results um, playlist on the YouTube, you're going to see a lot of the different interviews of my students that are winning at the next level, right? So you got to think about it. If you've been trying to do something yourself for so long and you make a lot less than my, my students, you know what I'm saying? Students that are making 10K, 50K, over 100K, you need to change what you're doing. You need to change your environment, right? So you need to keep that in mind because think about it. If you're if you're not doing as much as my students, doesn't it make sense to get in the same environment as my students? You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Even if you're making some money right now, right? Maybe you you make the most around who you're around. You think like you you just like you just made it, right? Like I said, some people just invest just to get into the uh, and the community. So keep that in mind. So level two persons like that. Level two person has a team and systems. They have SOPs. So Pedro actually used the SOP that we give our students as SOPs for his credit repair service, right? And basically they make anywhere from 20 to 100K a month. This is where, or even more, this is this is where the level two person comes in because they invest in themselves because they get around like-minded individuals that are getting to the next level. That's how they operate. And in our program, we teach you how to run an actual credit repair business, right? 
not just some side hobby. You're saying, oh, I do credit repair, and then you're struggling. So keep that in mind. So Pedro is a level two. Most of you that may be watching this, you might be level one. As sad as it seems, you might be level one. And I understand too, sometimes you might have a self-limiting belief of, is this going to work for me, right? If you ever hop on a sales call with me or someone on my team, if you if you ask something like, oh, what's the guarantee? Respectfully, we won't even make you an offer because you got to think about it. Like when you have spoiled bread, a lot of times it's just that one bread and then it infects everything else. If you're asking what's the guarantee, you're you're messing with the mindset of my students that don't ask like dumb questions like that. You know what I'm saying? So we want to keep the quality of the community as high as possible. So that's why it's that's why our mentorship is not a cheap investment. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. So this is literally the conversation I had with Pedro. So Pedro got in, I think December, I think the last day of 2023, December 31st, 2023. And this is back then when my one-on-one -on -one mentorship was 7,500. I don't market it publicly like that because, yeah, I don't have time to mentor everyone one-on-one. -on -one. But look, he said, can you send me an invoice for 4,500 and another one for 3,000? He wasn't asking me, what's the guarantee? What is this? What is all that, right? So if you find yourself as somebody that's like, oh, what's the guarantee I'm going to be successful? What's the guarantee of this? Like, if you find yourself just asking nine to five questions, like you just sounding like an employee, chances are you're probably not just meant to be in our mentorship, especially at this point in time. You could change your mindset over time. And that's the whole point of why I dropped these YouTube videos to help you change your mindset and help change your self-limiting beliefs. Because some of y'all are thinking like, oh, you know, I can't do it and all that. Pedro, he's a boss, right? He articulates like a boss. The way he articulates like a boss, he said, can you just send me the invoice? He didn't ask me a million questions. He wasn't begging in my DMs. He wasn't like, oh, please, can you give me this? He wasn't asking me a million questions. If you're asking a million questions, chances are you don't believe in yourself, right? And if you don't believe in yourself, why am I going to believe in you, right? We're too grown not to have belief in ourselves. We're too grown to make excuses for why we don't have uh, the money to invest. You're calling yourself a business owner, but you're saying you don't have money to invest into your business. You're saying, oh, you don't have the funds. Go find somebody that has a good credit around you. If you and your entire family doesn't have good credit, you got bigger issues to worry about. You don't know one person that has good credit that you can go use and then make the money back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw the video I did with Jason Rowland. He made his money back first month. You know what I'm saying? And so many of the students that come in the program are the same way. Pedro made $7,000 in one day because he chose not to ask nine to five questions. He chose to take full ownership of his situation. He chose to not have self-limited beliefs. He chose to continue to be the boss that he is. He articulates like a boss. We don't want people coming in the program that are asking nine to five questions. We don't want people coming in the program that are asking, what's the guarantee that I'm going to be successful, right? Those are nine to five conversations. We have high level conversations. Y'all may be having nine to five conversations. You could do all that. What's the guarantee with your employees that are not really making money like that? But when you come around bosses that are actually making real money, we articulate differently. You know what I'm saying? So he said, going to pay with a credit card. And I said, no problem with the email. Financing option didn't work on our end. Um, so he sent his email. He said, give me a second. He said, okay, thanks. Sent. Okay, just paid. He paid the 7500 like that, right? So the time I'm recording this right now, our program is 7500 the full program. We do have payment plans. I will stress that. Um, but by the time you're watching this, the program could be 10K or even higher, right? The program was once 2500 It was even once like a thousand something. And November 2022, I remember we did a crazy sale. We let people in for like $200. We we done let some poor people come in <laughs> at that price. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that the price you invest to is going to, is a lot of times is going to determine the trajectory of where you're going. So if you find yourself, if you're watching this video and it's making you uncomfortable, you're like, you're making excuses. You're like, I don't know if I could do that for myself and all that, right? then this is a very good indicator that you're mentally not prepared to be around like-minded bosses like my students and myself. That's just the reality, right? But if you're watching this, you feel comfortable. You're like, okay, you know, I can make that investment in myself. I can uh, get around like-minded people. I could be around people like Ali that's doing twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in a day. People that like Pedro that's making $7,000 in a day. People like uh, Jason that's making his money back in less than one month. You know, all my students, then 
you're you're you can be in the right environment. Just book a call. It's gonna be in the link in the description, or you can send me a DM, uh, Michael Benjamin on my IG. You can just ask me for the payment link. I'll ask you a couple questions. See, if I feel confident like we can help you, and we'll make money together, right? The longer you delay, is a lot is the longer you continue to stay in the same situation where you're not making it work how it's supposed to. You see the results in my students. Like it's undeniable at this point. Go to the playlist, client results, right? My whole thing is I feel sad every time that I speak with a credit repair business owner on like a sales call. And I know, I know confidently we can help them, but they just have that self-limiting belief. They just have, oh, I don't have the funds and everything. How do you not know one person in your family to have good credit? That doesn't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, y'all got to figure it out. Take equity out your house. Um, shoot, go, go get a second, third, nine to five job and you know, just be able to get like a down payment at, at least just to start and like i said we have flexible payment plans so it's not like you're you don't have to pay currently 7500 paid in full you don't have to do that but yeah go get a credit card or something calling yourself a credit repair business owner but you're saying you don't have money to invest in yourself that doesn't make sense you got a hobby <laughs> respectfully all right so you're the average of who you're around I just showed you the screenshot uh, conversation with us. He made no excuses to invest in himself. He just said he had to do it. Oh, also, Pedro was a one-on-one -on -one student, like I said. So one of the things that we talked about that helped with his business was the VIP service. So if you saw in the beginning of the video, um, he had a $4,000 paid invoice, and that's for his VIP service. So I just talk about making more offers and the certain conversations that you have that'll help you get to the next level. Pedro invested in himself. He got that information. You see how he made $4,000 right there. And that's not the first time that he's done it. So obviously he's been made back his 70. So y'all got to release y'all selves from the shackles of this like slavery mentality when it comes to investing money into yourself and your business. Um, but, you know, we got the community there. And the thing too, the way life works, I could wake up and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to take on no more mentees. I'm just going to focus on my uh, my students. So the longer you take, we could keep saying, oh, the price is going to keep going up. What if we just stop doing a mentorship? So keep that in mind too. But yeah, you, you right now, you're just watching this. You might be cheap, right? Or maybe you're not, I don't know. But Pedro made no excuses. And this is how he was able to go ahead and make that $7,000 in a day. Pedro did not let self-limiting self beliefs hold him back. A lot of y'all let self-limiting beliefs hold you back. Oh, I feel like you're going to gatekeep information as far as a consumer law. Some, can y'all can you believe someone had said that to me before? I'm like, the success of my students is what the mentorship is based on. How does it help me to gatekeep information when it comes to deletions, when it comes to the marketing? That doesn't even make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't know how to do tech or nothing like that. I don't know how to do the funnels and all that, right? That's a self-limiting belief as well. Hire a VA. We literally give y'all SOPs, right, for um your disputes. You could create SOPs as well. You can hire a VA that's going to help you do all this, right? So that's a self-limiting belief as well. A lot of y'all, like, you're, you are your biggest hater because you're looking at somebody that's helped so many people from retiring their nine to five to making thousands upon thousands of dollars in their credit repair business, that changing lives. You watching me and you just choosing to continue to just stay stuck where you're at. Like you're your own biggest hater when you're doing that, right? And respectfully, it means like you don't like your family. When you put yourself in a position, you're watching somebody that's changing so many lives, right? Like daily. Some of y'all watching these YouTube videos daily. Some people that be watching my IG stories daily. They just watching my students collect all these racks, but they doing nothing with it. And some of y'all have kids. You don't, you really don't care about your kid like that. If you don't put yourself in position to make them have a better life. Life that's not even lavish or nothing. And then you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, back in the day, I used I used to watch this dude, uh, Michael, online. Uh, I was watching him consistently, but I just didn't take action. They're going to be like, damn, like, we could have been living a better life if you actually took action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, that's the thing about poor people that be confusing me. Like, poor people will continue staying in the same situation and not doing nothing. That's why we call it passing over opportunities repeatedly. But those of y'all that are 
you know, ready to get to the next level. We're going to see y'all in the community. But I say that to say that Pedro didn't let self-limiting beliefs hold him back. And then the thing is, you're going to be stuck until you change your proximity to, to successful credit repair business owners, right? Because you could be doing it yourself. Let's say like you're making, let's say you're making 50K a month. If you get around other people that are making 50K a month or even 100K a month, don't you think you're going to get a piece of that? You're going to have one conversation with somebody that's going to change your perspective. With my mentorship, the community, we got um, the students be networking with each other, right? It's not even just me just connecting people. I connected them as far as the community, but they have their own offline conversations, doing business with each other. You know what I'm saying? So these are things that you could be doing, but I don't know. Maybe I don't, maybe y'all just don't like your kids or something. Maybe y'all don't like your family. Maybe y'all just don't like yourself. So I don't, I don't know. Can't relate. My students can't relate either, but you know what I'm saying? So when you invest in yourself, you're making an investment for you to encourage having high level conversations. A lot of y'all right now are having nine to five conversations because you're the smartest person in your circle right now. And the thing about the community that's so powerful and what some of my students have said is because so many people are not entrepreneurs. So many people are not business owners. It might be a lot of people in your life that do work a nine to five. So it's therapeutic to be around like-minded individuals. You know what I'm saying? Especially something with credit that can be stressful, consumer laws, stressful. So when you're around like-minded individuals that are like sparring partners that push you to get better, that's way worth more of the ROI than what it costs to get in the program. So yeah, one, one conversation might be what you need to change your entire life, but you won't know until you actually pay the invoice and just get in the room. You just got to get in the room. That's just the reality of it. There's power and proximity. You've heard so many of my students say this. Go to the client results um, playlist, right? Go watch all those student success interviews. They are not paid actors. If y'all watch the interviews, I'm always asking them, did I scam you, right? I ain't scam nobody. They say that uh, they scammed me because they made the money back so quickly. Y'all see the thing with uh, Jason Rowland? He said this, he, he said it, <laughs> go watch it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, if you're the smartest person in the room right now, you can keep stroking your ego but you're literally losing and will continue to lose because you are at a plateau, right? So Pedro chose to change his environment, $7,000 in a day. So yeah, I had a one-on-one -on -one call with them uh, recently. Like I said, he's one of my one-on-one -on -one students. And we basically discussed a couple tweaks he needs to make. And I'm pretty confident he's going to be at 100K a month pretty soon. So once he makes those adjustments that we discussed, I'm not going to get into it on here. But just a couple adjustments, he's going to be at 100K a month. I'm pretty confident. So, yeah, he hasn't uh, fully integrated everything in the mentorship yet. So I'm definitely excited to continue to see his elevation. Oh, yeah, like I said, he joined December 31st, 2023, when my one-on-one -on -one VIP was just uh, 7,500. Um, if I were to do a one-on-one -on -one now, it's definitely a five-figure investment. And one thing to remember is I do not charge what I don't invest in myself. I do not charge what I don't invest in myself. I know some of y'all might be like, oh, you're charging all this. Do you invest in yourself? Yes, the answer is yes. So whatever next hate comment that you choose to have, you're just gonna have to stomach that. And maybe just whenever you work again, just fake laugh with your coworkers. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but um, so you got two options, really. You can get in the room or you can continue that mental masturbation that you're doing. Because when you continue to watch my videos, video after video, and you don't take action, that's called mental masturbation. That's mental masturbation. Just watching my videos and not doing nothing with the information, right? It gets to a point you have to make that investment yourself. You have to release some kind of money so that you can get to that next level. You have to release money to get in the room. If you're that person that's ready to get in the room, uh, link will be in the description. You can go ahead and book a call. Come with a credit card ready to go. You can DM me on IG at Michael Benjamin. Tell me to send you the invoice. We can get straight to it as well. I'll just ask you a couple questions to make sure I'm confident I can help you. And then we will go from there. But hopefully this video helped y'all. Go ahead and drop your uh, key takeaways. And those of y'all that's ready to take action, I hope to you know, make sure that you're the next success story. Y'all have a blessed one.